Well, Steve, uh, what do we need to know then about this launch today? Well, we do know that it's going to be launching, scheduled to launch in just a few minutes' time at 9.22 mm. local time. We're getting live footage. Uh, this is from the Jiuquan Launch Center out in uh, Inner Mongolia. Well, it's actually called Gansu Province because the city of Jiuquan uh, is the closest city, which is in Gansu Province. But the launch site that you're seeing there is right on the edge of the Gobi Desert in actual Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. Uh, that's where um, it, it will launch. Uh, and it, this is a 2,800 square square kilometer space center, one of four main launch centers of China, founded in 1958. So these three astronauts you're seeing here, Nie Haisheng, who's going to be the captain, this will be his third space trip. Uh, also, Liu Boming is second in command. This will be his second space trip. He was the man who was supposed to do the China's first spacewalk. However, there was a reported fire on the Shenzhou uh, rocket or spacecraft uh, that prevented him from doing the spacewalk. So he will likely do the spacewalk uh, this time. Uh, one of three scheduled spacewalks on these three months going to be uh, aboard the new Tiangong Space Station, which will become operational next year. There are going to be 11 more such rocket uh, space trips, including, I think, four or five uh, manned trips over the next year and a half as they try to get Tiangong, the space station, up and operational by the end of next year. Uh, I'm being told we're just 45 seconds away from the launch. The pictures you're looking at here were recorded from earlier. These are live pictures, I believe, right now. They're there we go. There are the three inside uh, that rocket, the Shenzhou 12. Steve, let me bring you back in. In terms of how this fits into the space race, so it will be operational, the space station, by next year. Yep. There are also plans to go to the moon, establish a base in the moon, yep. and uh, yep. what have you. They're on hyperspeed, uh, right? They've gone to Mars. They, the Jurong rover in May hmm. landed on Mars the first time right. China sent uh, uh, landed something on Mars. Of course, they have more operationals uh, planned for the moon, including a probe next year, including manned trips later than that. Uh, the U.S. also trying to revive the manned trip to the moon, as you're seeing uh, the rocket. This is the Long March 2F uh, model of rocket, which will be carrying the Shenzhou 12 spacecraft. Shenzhou meaning divine vessel or divine craft. Uh, with those three astronauts aboard. The third astronaut I might mention is Tang Hongbo. He is the, this is, he's making his first space trip. So three men will be going up. Previously, 11 Chinese taikonauts, as they're called, have been sent to space. So that will make it 14 after today's launch, which is coming in just six seconds. Dave, you want to count it down with me? Well, uh, we I'm not sure what the delay is like, but here we go. We're just a few seconds away from China's first mad mission there to space. Goes. All right, on mm. time. There we go. Up, up we go. Well, this is the first one in five years. Looks like a textbook launch so far, obviously. Uh, they are heading towards uh, the Tiangong Space Station. As I mentioned, they will be spending the next three months in the main section of the Tiangong Space Station called Tianhe, which was uh, sent into orbit on April 29th. Uh, and it will form a complex with the Tianzhou 2 cargo craft. The cargo craft uh, was launched in May and actually self-piloted to the Tiangong space station. Uh, it transported food, fuel, and other equipment uh, for today's mission. So when they get there, they should have some food and equipment ready to go, and they're going to be getting right to work kitting out and getting the space station ready, one of uh, several trips over the next year and a half before the Tiangong space station, which means, by the way, Heavenly Palace uh, gets operational by the end of next year. Uh, Tiangong is uh, much smaller than the current International Space Station, the ISS, yeah. which, of course, is <clears throat> a joint project with the United States, Russia, Canada, Europe, and Japan. But it's set for retirement, the ISS, in 2024. NASA has indicated that perhaps it could live beyond 2028. But there could be a window here where the Tiangong, where these three gentlemen here are heading towards, could be the only operational space station um, 
once the ISS goes out of operation. Of course, it's about the same size as the old Soviet Mir space station, which is no longer in operation. It lasted from 1986 until the early 2000s. Yeah, Steve, it looks like we just saw the boosters uh, breaking apart there. The weather conditions look perfect, don't they, from these camera angles. Continue to watch this live shot of uh, that Shenzhou uh, rocket, uh, as you say, as it heads towards that Tiangong uh, space station. Just, Steve, contextualize for us where this leaves China in terms of its space ambitions versus the U.S. and NASA. Well, obviously, they have huge ambitions. I mean, if you date back to 1969, when Mao Zedong and Zhou Enlai saw the United States land on the moon, and they put a big emphasis on their space program. But it took a while to get going. Uh, of course, their first man in space was uh, Yang Liwei in 2003. Since then, they have sent orbiters around the moon. Uh, they've had uh, sample and retrievals from the moon. They're going to send a man to the moon shortly. They've sent the Jurong rover to Mars, making it the second nation uh, to uh, land successfully on Mars. They have planned missions uh, to Jupiter, an orbiter mission perhaps in the 2030 wow. range. Also, Uran Uranus, the faraway yep. planet, is a proposed uh, not officially approved mission, but they have a lot of ambitions, including this crewed space station, which will be operational next year.